Welcome all. Hope everybody is doing well. It is good to be back at Edgewater and we have a plethora of things we need to get done. But I think the first thing on the docket is we need to start getting some food for our, I was going to say pigs, but it's just one, one measly little pig. This poor guy has been here for two months and we have given him no food, no water. I don't think they actually take water, but they, they're doing okay, I guess. They're not too scrawny. Well, maybe a little scrawny. That's all right, buddy. We will get you taken care of. So we do have a field of barley over here that is ready to go, and that takes care of the grain. And then we have a field of canola way over there, and that is ready to harvest as well. We have some sorghum, but our sorghum... That is going to need another month, I think, and then it should be ready to go. The only thing that we do not have planted and not growing is a root crop. There are no potatoes and no sugar beets growing on this map at all. I have looked everywhere and there is nothing. So here I have a plan. I have an idea. Where are we at? Where is field one? Oh, over here. So we already turned part of field one into our canola field. But what if we took right here and planted, uh, let's plant potatoes, I think. I haven't done potatoes in a long time. I've done my fair share of sugar beets, but I've not done potatoes for quite a while. So we could put potatoes here and I'm not sure what I wanna put in the rest of field one. I need grass, but that is too big of a grass field. I could do like this area. We could chop this field up into three places or something, four. I need to ponder that. That might not be a bad idea. But first things first, let's, oh, both of these crops can be swath. Now, I don't think I'm going to swath both of them. I think let's, let's get the mower and let's get it going on our barley field because I believe it is not expected to have too high of a yield anyway. No, 64%. We bought it this way. We didn't, we didn't make it this way. We bought it that way. So let's go find our mower. It's got to be around here somewhere. You know, I am mistaken. It is not around here somewhere. I think in the last episode, I returned it because it was leased and I didn't want to pay leasing fees on it. So let's look into here and mower. Mowers, mower. So this is the one, right? Wait, let me go back. I thought there was, no, okay, that is it. So if we get this, oh, 100 grand. I hate leasing, but what choice do we have? We could go yellow. Can't remember what one I, didn't I do, didn't I do Heston last time? I mean, that's all right. We could stick with that. That's okay. Yeah, let's do that. Let's lease it. And then we need the header to go with it. So what would that be? Would that that wouldn't be under mowers, would it? Maybe it would. If I could find mowers, that would be a good start. Oh, I found it. And I think they're all the way down. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Swathing ready maps. That is this map. And let's see, can we do Massey No Challenge or Heston? Let's go Heston. We will lease it as well. Oh my goodness, that's expensive. Okay, so let me, oh, do that. And look at that, just like that, we are down at the store. Oh, don't, don't, it, uh, see, it kind of glitches away. That turn, come on, turn, 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 turn. Okay, now let me head down to the farm. Uh oh, I got to turn time back. There, now we're moving. Well, this mower is not fast. That is for sure 18 mile an hour. Whatever money I saved by returning this was not worth it. That was a very, very slow ride. But I did see a field that might work for a grass field for us. Our grass field is so small and I know we're gonna need more grass, but there's nowhere around here that is gonna work for a grass field. So I found this guy right there's 17, which is really quite good. That is what 33 grand. It's only 20,000 per hectare. 
it's like all of these. And this is 20, almost 23 grand per hectare. I don't even know if there's any, I guess there's nothing planted in there. Oh, it's just, oh, okay. It's been cultivated, ready to go. What's 15 got it? 15. Uh, it's got pea, right? That would be kind of cool. I haven't harvested peas. I don't know what machine you use to harvest peas. Uh, I am not sure. We have lentils here in 17, but I... Maybe, maybe we will buy that. Oh, buy 15. What is that? That's 32. That's pretty cheap as well. Not as cheap as the lentil. So we got to think about that. I really want the worker to do as much of this as possible because I, I don't. I've ha about had my fill of swathing, but that's okay. Let's run at least one headland around here. That'll kind of give us a feel, since I haven't harvested this field before. Kind of get to experience it. I got a little bit carried away and now I have done about all of it. Well, close to all of it. There's nothing left really for the worker. So I guess I'm going to just go ahead and see if I can get this pounded out. I was trying to get the swath to be just as long as possible without any breaks. It makes it a lot easier to pick up that way. And well, I didn't leave much for the work, but that's okay. We'll get her knocked out real quick. And then we can move on to bigger and better things like harvesting a canola field. That sounds like a bigger and better thing. And I am not gonna swath it. We can, we most certainly could. And it is extremely difficult for me not to swath it only because I know we get a higher yield. I mean, I guess I could, should I? I don't know. I don't want to, that's the problem. I don't wanna. Maybe we. I don't know. We'll see when we get over there. Get it, get it, get it. All right. Perfect. That was not bad. Not bad at all. That didn't take too much time out of our lives. Let's raise that up, shut it off, and let's head over to the canola field. Let's assess this. Maybe we could leave a worker to this part of it. Well, I've ran a headland all the way around and I guess we are going to swath this field as well. I said, I just can't turn down that 20% there. And go. Worker is off and running, sweet. We need this guy. And is that, that is not the pickup header. That is just the harvesting header. So where would, oh, I didn't return that, did I? Oh, no, there it is. I'm like, oh, please tell me I didn't return the pickup header. Put the pipe in. We'll just set this right there. Beautiful. Grab the pickup header, then head over to our barley field. That is what it is. Now, before I head over there, I don't think we have anything in, he in our silo for the pigs. So we do have some oats. But I think that is it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What do we have? Oh, we have some peas. We have some lentils. So when is this stuff ready to sell? I didn't even know I had peas, to be honest. Let's see. Oh, uh, it would be July, and we are in April. Okay, so we have a little bit. It peaks out at 2,000. Peaks out at, wow, lentils peaks out at 6,000. Whoa. That is crazy. 
And what are we at now? Four. Four is almost five is a really good number. I didn't know. What are you doing? I always hit my right trigger when I want to scroll up. And that is not scroll up in farm sim. It isn't about everything else, but not farm sim. Let's see. Uh, Come on. Oats. Oof. And you are December. Oh, my goodness. That is terrible. We're eight. Actually, that's not bad. Maybe we should sell. Maybe we should sell our oats. Here, let's pull you up out of the way. Because it is going to do nothing but drop for quite some time, right? I mean, we look. Yeah, we have not even hit the bottom yet. Let's do that. Let's sell our oats. Get out of here. Let's grab this uh, semi here. On a lorry. I'm not from England. Let's fill her up. Bin number one. And oats. Go. We had 80. Was that 85,000 liters? That is a lot. So where are we going? Uh, The best is 944. Saskatoon. I just love Saskatoon. I, I wouldn't mind living there just for the name. And I think we've been there before, but I don't remember. It's been a while. And, oh, 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 is that the train? That is the train. I really like the train. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Let's go. And another one is full. Okay, let's go to Saskatoon. Now, there's a grass field right there. I mean, it's quite a distance away from the farm. That is, like, really the big problem with that. I don't know how much. Where is this? This guy right here. How much is it? 33 grand is 22,000 per hectare. I don't know. I'd almost prefer the ones closer to us. I don't think that one is going to do it for us. So if memory serves me correct, and it almost never does, it is up here to the left in which silo? Okay, so it is, I think I know which one. No, Bessie, what are you doing, man? Stop it. Back up. I didn't think I was going that fast. So I don't think it's the one to the right. I think it's the one on the left-hand side, the more difficult one to get in. Come on. This goes at a pretty good clip once you get it up to speed. Turn here. Let's see if we can do it this way. Come on there, big Bertha. Don't hit your mirrors. Put in, put in. And you're gonna give me a trigger? Come on, give me, give me, give me. Give me, give it to me. What are you doing? Well, where are we at? No. Now that should be, right? How about we go there? It was up oh, there it is, okay was on the truck not on the trailer it's going in good deal okay so we'll get this emptied out then we'll run over we'll get the, call the train get it over here there it goes it's empty beautiful let's no don't hit anything and park that right there can i get through yeah i can get through let's go wait uh, uh, and call the train Train is going to arrive soon. Well, good. Feel like I'm watching a tennis match. A very slow tennis match, but <laughs> a tennis match nonetheless. Where are you at? 300 meters away. Come on. There it is. What are you doing coming from Natty? Oh, you're back and I'll get out of the way. Yeah, that's fine. You worry about me. And come here, come here, come here, come here. Come on, let me in. Uh, oh no, there. So I think we hold back up. How do I want to open, open cover? Which one am I on? I should be on that one. That's the first one, isn't it? Did it not open that cover? Oh, it looked like it opened the second one. It did. Okay, for whatever reason, who am I to question? I'm absolutely nobody. That's who I am. Get on up. 
And come on, Chew Chew. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow, slow, slow your roll. So, man, it's so far back. No, no, too far, too far, too far. Come on, back up, back up, back up. Uh, okay, and start filling. Oh, yes. Oh, we got another truckload. That's okay. So stop. And then I yeah, I want you. Wow, wait, how are they doing? Look at that. Oh, they're going to end just in a wrong spot, it looks like. You know, that might not work out. We can change their direction then. Okay, not bad. Let's take you. Let's head back to the farm. Pick up another load. Well, it looks like our worker decided to drive into the ditch for whatever reason. I don't know why. That wasn't direct the direction they were going, but that is uh, that is that is what they had to do. Okay. We went over here. We'll get our second load. We'll get the worker unstuck. Uh, will it take it all? I don't think it's going to take it all. It was like 40,400 liters or something is what we got in there. The last one. Yep. Okay. Come on. Yes. Now let's see if we can get them out of here. Come on. Go. Uh, there we go. See, what were they even doing there? Maybe they were trying to turn around. That could be. We'll, we'll give them that. Oh, yeah, that's going to be perfect. Go get him, worker. Go get him. Wrong way. There we go. Start overloading. No, no. Come on. She is not quick off the line. I will say that about this truck. Not very quick off the line. But once she gets going, man, she moves on pretty good. I mean, there are faster trucks. This one does quite well turn. Oh. The driver, on the other hand, needs a little bit more practice. Go. Okay. Let's empty it in. Beautiful. I'll have to turn this back on so I can not open cover. Where is it? I got to switch tanks. Oh, no, I'm on the right one. What's up? There we go. Tip side, back, tip side, front. There we are. That gave me fits a couple episodes ago. I'm like, just empty you flipping trailer. What is going on? Okay, that's doing fine. Can't, I can't get out. I was going to get out and run to the train. Well, no. <laughs> no, no, you're not, feller. You're going to stay right where you are. And out here. Perfect. That over there. Come here, Mr. Train. Can I get? Oh, there we go. We made it. We got it. Mayor Choo Choo. So I should start filling. Yes. I I don't know how much this train. Oh well, it tells me how much this train car will hold. About 132. I think 132 liters. 132,000 liters is what this train car will hold. Look at me trying to do math. I, yeah, maybe I should just stop. That, <laughs> that's probably, probably for the best. Let's go, Choo Choo. That is one red train for sure. Uh, yes, let's do it. I was going to say drum roll, please, but it didn't give me time. Holy cow, look at that. 76 plus another 6,000. There we go. That is awesome. Now, I think we should probably, before we turn around and the field is harvested. So, should we do peas or should we do lentils? Lentils are worth more, but we probably get more peas. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go, I'm going to go field 16 only because it's closer. So, there we go. Now we have a lentil field that is ready to be harvested as well. It's probably not going to get a whole bunch of yield on it, but that's all right. Anything we get is a bonus. So let's roll well, here. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll take this back. I was going to just tab over and leave this here, but then that would just burn me later on. So what if I did here, put cruise on. What if I did this instead? Set destination. Is it going to go? That's got to stop first, but 
it appears to be going. All right, that's awesome. And did they really do this field this good? No, no, they didn't. But I mean, they did really, they did quite well. I'm still very happy with what they got done. I mean, they didn't seem to miss much, just this little area over here. Drop it down, it won't take us much to get this. And all of, well, not all of this because it won't fit, but we're just gonna shove what we can into the hog trough there. Maybe we will buy a few more little piggies. And there we go. We have two fields all swathed up. Now they need to be picked up and then we have to make bales or something with that also, but at least the harvesting sort of part is done. Whoa, there's a little bit of lag going on. Don't know what that's from, but ooh, oh, the dr my worker must be getting close. Okay. Cut that off. And where is he? Let's see. Oh, yeah, well, not that close. Let's fire him and we'll just take over. That is a little rough. Some days it's not bad. And other days, oh my God, <laughs> what is going on? Get that sign. I've knocked about every sign down all the way to and fro anyway. Wait, where am I at? Wait a second. I think, I don't know. Where am I at? Get the stupid thing off of there. I can't, I, I, this is not where I need to be. They weren't even close. All right, let me, uh, let me get my head out of my butt and get us back over to the farm. There we go. All right, that should be perfect. No more lag fest going on here. So, okay. We've got that done, that done. We we need our harvester. We need to get back to what we were doing. I can't believe we still have 132 grand. We are doing extremely well for money, I feel like anyway. This is probably gonna take a little bit more effort than the actual swathing did. The mowing goes extremely quick. It's everything else that just drags on for a while. But it should be worth it. Let's go ahead. Let's uh, let's get this banged out. I get back into swathing I am still not sure that it is worth the effort I know you make more money I guess if you have the time you definitely make more crops so you make more money but you know you could almost take that same amount of time and use it doing other field work and make up for that I I'm just not sold on swathing dump this but either way it doesn't matter at this point it's a moot point because it's done this field is done we still have another field to pick up but what i would like to do her let's see can i oh man i got that goofy fence in the way only partially in the way they can escape i guess they can't go through the ditch is that what i'm thinking i don't know what i was thinking let's go see if we can dump some of this into here now probably not much Let's see our pig is out of the way we're not gonna run him over it's good there we go how much did it take actually taking quite a bit my goodness we've got one little pig <laughs> is it really gonna take all of it my God, what the heck? I thought, you know, I thought it was always, it took the amount 
for one and we've got like one drop of food in there that is crazy i thought it only took a certain amount depending upon the number of animals that you have in your pigsty but evidently this one doesn't care we'll just take it all but our little pig can now at least eat something it's got it's got to be doing better but I think we should get potatoes in the ground. That's what I think we should do before we run out of time in this month. All right, shut that off. Now we we need a planter for potatoes, and ours does not do potatoes. So potato technology, that looks like a good place to start. So we have a three meter, no. Well, this is a six meter, that's not bad. And again, does this probably doesn't take seed. It takes potatoes and it takes fertilizer, which is good. So we do have some cash. Let's go ahead and lease that. Six grand. Jeez. Pigs are already expensive and I only have one. So let's go here. Now, you know, I could just buy. Oh, I can just buy it here at the farm. I've already got a silo. That will be easier. Let's go you. That's the guy I want right here. Well, as I am backing this guy up, I start to think, do I need to cultivate that before I put potatoes in the ground? And something tells me that yes, yeah, yes, I do. Let's let's back out this way. And what does this say? Uh, cultivated. No, I don't think it needs plowed, right? No. No, it doesn't. This one does. Our canola field needs plowed. And I th thought there was another, but maybe not. Okay, so just our canola field. I got to try to remember that. And so we should be good. Well, well, not good. We need to cultivate it. Do I own a cultivator? I'd like to think no, but we might. We have a disc arrow. Uh, disc arrows are used for shallow cultivation of fields. Okay, I mean, that sounds like it will work. I'm going to cross my fingers and hope for the best. That sounds like a plan. It's the way I go through life. And somehow that works out pretty darn good for me. So where is, where's the Massey at? Because I want to put this on the Massey Ferguson. Because if we want to do some bailing, I think this tractor will do it where the Massey will not. Oh, I think it's sitting over here on our mowers but i need to fill this planter up back it up oh no not too crazy there feller there we go that right there should do it drop you off get you out of the way so i think i'll hook up the massey and then we'll go fill it up with some seed well first things is it's not seed it's potatoes but i say that but you can put seed in here i thought that was fertilizer and it's not, it's seed. So you can use seed to do the potatoes, but we need to get over there and cultivate before we can put anything in the ground. And I do know where that is. We don't use it very often, so it doesn't move around much. But just enough that my mower is in the way. I think we can manage. Get this beast unfurrowed. And... I mean, we don't need to do the whole field. All we need to do is just where we're going to be planting potatoes. Oh, I got to drop it down. Ooh, there we go. Now this is going to work, right? Oh, I can see it change the textures already. Beautiful. So I will run a headland around here, I think, and then we will just put this on a worker. To be on. Oh, no. Yeah, shoot. I'd like to because I was thinking I could run some bales, but I can't really run any bales. I guess we could go pick up some canola? Or do I want to do some cultivating and then do the canola later? I think maybe, maybe we'll do a little bit of cultivation. This should not take long.
there we go beautifulness it is done not bad it's not bad when there's only a few little curves in the field and it's not just loop-de-loops <laughs> so but not bad we got her done that is ready for potatoes let's pull you out of the way and uh i should run a headland i was just thinking i could just set the worker off let them do their thing fire you up i don't know really all i need is the top and the bottom to start off with no don't uh forgot about that culvert okay let's see oh thought it was gonna dump them all on the ground this <laughs> started to get in a little panic going on here oh uh, what's happening oh that's better back up so i can see there we go man that thing moves all over let me get my self all set up where i'm ready to go here like i was gonna miss a bit already so we are fired up is it going it appears to be and we are putting potatoes in the ground now this tractor does not seem like it has any too much horsepower it has the bare minimum it says required 170 and that is exactly what this tractor has now we will we will definitely need to fill this up i'm going to try i'm going to do one hopper full of potatoes little spuds or tubers whatever they're called and then the next one i think i'm going to fill it up with seed and see if it goes any further i mean i wouldn't assume assume but you know what assuming gets you it does me every single time but i believe it should give you the same but we'll see we'll do a we'll do a quick test well i don't know if it's quick it doesn't seem to be too quick but I think this should give them plenty of room to turn around here i mean we've got three here but i've only got two up there but i think we should be fine so let's get them set up and go 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 come on come on all right there we go tractor go there is not any too much horsepower there that is for sure but i want you and i guess maybe we should put this away and let's grab the baler and then we can give the uh well i guess we could give the pigs some of that straw if we really wanted to i didn't really put this where i wanted to put it I, oh hey we have a bail wagon over here i have no idea where i'm going i'm just aimlessly driving around with this crazy cultivator i'm like uh uh, uh i didn't know which way to go but we will get, we'll stick it right back there we go oh. I'm sure that didn't cost that much it's okay no damage to the tractor or the cedar there we go. perfect so let's let's do grab the bale let's do a few bales anyway i don't want to go crazy where is it i know it's green oh there it is this blends right in with all the grass and everything how you how you ladies doing so they have what, 12,000 liters of food they should be all right plenty of water we actually have a bit of goat milk now that is nice a little bit of wool I mean uh, 147 liters when I say a little bit I mean a bit 
you guys enjoying your roof over there i hope so and your trees that looks so much better now they've got some shade a little bit of shelter out of the weather i you know I, well i guess it is what it is i don't really like the concrete showing through but there's not much i can do about it that little guy doesn't mind it at all all right back into here let's stay on track stay on task man stay on task and this is the task at hand lower down fire it up is it going oh yeah i'm not gonna get this field done i'm just gonna make a few bales so that we have some to give to the pigs or pig <laughs> you know maybe we'll make a few bales and then uh we'll buy a few more pigs just so our little fella over there doesn't get too lonely gotta suck being the only one running around in the mud well i think that should do it i did well, a couple of headlands around i mean we don't need much more than that it's probably gonna give us six to eight bales anyway and perfect okay so let's shut that off oh i shut the wrong thing off why, why can i never remember anything okay that's all right we got unload bailing one more bale perfect so let's leave this here because we are going to need it wait oh wait let's not leave that there let's look ahead get it out of the workers way and they are still going right okay beautiful and we will grab this now i'm still wanting to get rid of this shed right here because i just i just don't like it i mean i guess what i can do is we can go here and construction and you and we are going to sell it i mean i don't like it i don't use it there's no point in having it. okay so can we find wait i think get out of here let's get rid of this fence because i don't i don't want you either yeah that'll go away okay that's fine we'll leave the trees for now i mean i don't know to be honest i don't know what i want to put there i i always love the drive throughs where are we going sheds yeah 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 i love the drive through sheds i mean even well, that's just that's too much that's a hundred and some thousand dollars i'm looking for cheapy cheap 44 is for one it's not big enough for us it's, i mean 40 44 grand uh yeah that's about more like our budget except it's not what i want either i don't mind the e oh my god that is a monster not not that is massive get, get out of here i don't want that see that's not bad i don't know because i really would like it this way but that's all discombobulated with what we had so it almost have to go this orientation we would have to get rid of at least one tree oh I don't. but we're just gonna leave it as is right now if you have any ideas and you say hey use this shed then uh i might be game for that but right now i haven't found any that really struck my fancy so I don't know what that little southern draw was I just had there. I'm not southern by any stretch. Well, I guess if you think of Florida, but Florida is so far south, it's not southern anymore. So go figure. Northern Florida could be southern. But mid to southern Florida? No, that's not southern. I, I don't understand. I don't make the rules. I just abide by. Well, I don't really abide by them either. But anyway. Let's grab a few bales. I don't, I mean, we're not going to get a full bale wagon out of it. I don't even know if we can give the pigs bales of straw. We may need a shredder, but at least I've put forth effort, I guess. That has to count for something, right? I think. Now we've gotten quite a few bales. We may actually end up with a full trailer full here. I didn't think I'd gotten that many. I only went around the headland twice. What are we down? Oh, we're going to be one bale shy of enough to fill up the trailer. Slow down. We still have some over in the farmyard as well. Now, the 
Oh, see, I was going to try to chuck him in there, but with only one bale. I don't I only want one bale. Hold on. I have an idea. Okay, so oh, it does take him. All right. Yay. Uh, here somewhere in there that seemed to be where they took him. Go. Oh, good. Woohoo. I wasn't sure. I'm like, "Come on, please take the bales. Please take the bales." I don't want to be pushing them all over the place. And one more. You can do it. Yeah, there we go. And oh man, that is. Uh oh, tank is empty. We'll fill that up. Give me a second. We have a bunch of straw, just a touch of grain. That is crazy that it took all of that. Oh, uh, we need. We need a lot more food. Okay, so let's. I can't buy here, can I? Go here. And we need to get these these piggies producing. So let's so they can develop into sows ready for slaughter. Oh wait, is that a Oh, these are fattening pigs. I need some reproducing pigs, right? We have that one. Okay, which ones do we want? Okay, so these the the sow female, they reproduce i don't know if they make the porker females but the porker females are only uh, for fattening up i guess uh, all right so let's take let's do you and let's just start let's start off a little bit slow with the pigs they do like to eat let's go let's go 25 we'll buy those yes okay and the males this pig is fully grown oh okay so these these also just turn into pigs ready for slaughter so uh, i don't really want to buy a male pig just because i don't need to but we're going to uh, you have to buy one i think or how are the other the female pigs going to reproduce it just doesn't work that way Buy. yes okay now there we go our little piglet over there has some company now soon i'm assuming that's the male pig i don't know what give me that idea but oh you can't write him man i was like come on go pig and no <laughs> we need to fill up our uh workers planter that's what i was trying to say I have a bag of something over here, and I don't know if that is seed. No, that's lime. Okay. Let's go in here. We're going to fill it up with seed just because I said I was going to. Man, I think the seeds cost a heck of a lot more. Five grand. Woo! My goodness. Maybe I should have stuck with the potatoes. Five grand of potatoes. That I think that would be a lot of potatoes. Five thousand dollars worth. All right, there we go. Now I got it. I have to say, I think we've really done quite well. We do have some pigs, and they do have a little bit of food. Now we have more food. Some canola sitting over there, so that's ready to go. Our sorghum will be ready next month, I do believe. And we need to plant more wheat and probably more canola. We need some of our big fields to be producing because these pigs are going to eat us out of house and home, as they do, hence the name pigs. But hey, I want to thank you all for tuning in. As I always say, if you've got anything you want me to do, you want me, you want to see, just let me know. Thanks for tuning in all. Until next time, see ya!